the jump. With Fitz. For Home and Industry present Fibber McGee and Molly with Bill Thompson, Gail Goddard, and me, Harlow Wilcox. And Phil Leslie, music by the King's Men. that some homes seem to have so much more charm than others. Expensive furnishings? Well, not as a rule. Usually it's a matter of good taste in arrangement and good housekeeping, in which richly polished floors and other surfaces play an important part. Floors that are regularly polished with Johnson's Wax become more and more beautiful. They acquire a gleaming mellow sheen that sets off your furnishings to best advantage. Tabletops, woodwork, radios, and sideboards shine with beauty when they're wax protected. In every room, there are many uses for this old favor. Ornaments, chair arms, leather goods, and a hundred other accessories glow and sparkle when polished with Johnson's Wax. Of course, you know that the tough wax film protects all these surfaces against dirt, wear, and spill things. Also, it saves you hours of work because wax surfaces are so easy to keep clean. Why not add to the friendly charm of your home with Johnson's Wax, face liquid or cream? McGee of 79 Wistful Vista loves her little home and everything in it. But there are certain things in the living room which she thinks could be freshened up a little, such as the coat, pants, and shoes on the fellow lying on the sofa. Listen to her now addressing the poor man, Zadolf Monju, as we meet Silver McGee and Molly. <laughs> Well, you know me, just strictly as I have for comfort. Well, I have nothing against comfort, sweetheart. However, the creatures you don't have in your pants are beginning to show up as wrinkles on my forehead. The baby never let it be said that McGee wouldn't cooperate. What do you want me to do? Name it, and I'll consider it. Well, to start from the bottom and work up, give a thought to your shoes. What's the matter with them? Oh, I'll admit, if Prince Charming found one of the ball, he wouldn't scour the village for Cinderella. <laughs> but that's comfortable. Why, the heels are run down like an absent-minded pedestrian. Mm. They have less polish than a Mississippi senator. Mm. <laughs> and the lowers are definitely on their uppers. Mm. Really, dearie, a man in your position should have uh, new shoes. A man in what position? Lying down on the sofa. Mm. <laughs> People can see how worn your soles are. Yeah. And the shoelaces. No wonder you get dressed so fast in the morning. What do you mean? You must make 30 knots an hour just in your shoelaces. <laughs> My dear, I have never pretended to be a dude. <laughs> I'm no bro bummel. I'm not a fop. But rather than cause you a moment's distress, Pussy, saddle the mules and we'll gallop down to the bon ton. I'll buy some new ones. Oh, good for you. You love some new shoes. I didn't mean new shoes. I meant new shoelaces. Oh, Come on, get your hat and let's go. We can be back in. Come in. Oh, hi, Elsie. It's Elsie from the beauty parlor, Molly. Hello, Elsie. Did I leave my contact there again? Here, honey. And I just left it there. I said to myself, Miss Merkel, I said, quit dragging that compact back and forth like a Labrador receiver. <laughs> Retriever, Elsie. Oh, oh, is that the kind of a dog which you throw a stick in the lake and he runs in and brings back somebody's bathing cap, Mr. McGee? That's the kind, Elsie. Uh, do you have a dog? Oh, no, Mrs. McGee. I always wanted one because Mom always told me to be done with the kind of animals. <laughs> but when I was shopping for a dog, I had a horrible experience. What happened, Elsie? Get a wire hair with a short circuit? <laughs> Heavenly days, how revolting. What did you do, Elsie? Honey, I hung a candy on 
and he died that would stall the housing situation until 1972. <laughs> I was so perturbed that when I got back to the weekly business to learn the beauty, I turned out three clients with playful hair. Sounds rather attractive, Elsie. You follow work must be kind of interesting. Incidentally, you know the best way to avoid falling hair? How, Mr. McGee? Just duck to one side. Oh. You get it, girls? To avoid falling hair, just to... It's a fun involving a... Hey, funny, McGee. <laughs> it's certainly pink. Well, that's odd. I've used that joke for 22 years. Okay. Hey, you gotta go, Elsie. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe now. Safe, Elsie? Yeah, Mrs. McGee. There's a certain fella which has been following me for several days now, wherever I go. And I don't want to stay out of sight too long, so he might get discouraged. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> A character that, Elsie. Yes. If I had her job, I'd soon be a woman here, and I'm glad I'm not because you being a woman. I, I hate to interrupt what might turn out to be a lovely little bit of sentiment here, but if we're going down to the bond town to get some shoe strings, remember the days are getting shorter. Huh? Oh, yeah, well, come on, let's go. Where's my muffler? Muffler, why, McGee, it's warm out here. Yeah, I know, but I thought, well, with a muffler, I don't have to put on a necktie. Where do you suppose I put my muffler? Oh, I know where it is, right No, no, McGee, please, I haven't had a chance to get it. to the orchestra and South America. Take it away. drummer that was playing the fly spec. You're a little off your beat, aren't you? Don't be evident, you larrikin. What's the matter with you today that the sweet music of me nice stick on your noggin wouldn't sure? Well, himself is a little allergic to shopping trips, Mr. Mulcahy. Be nice, really. The officer's only doing his duty. Well, let him do his duty to somebody else, then. Come on, let's get this over with. So long, square. Good day to you, officer. And good day to yourselves. If I do save myself, I don't mean a word of it. Take care of yourselves and may your car never go dry. All right, now keep the engine clear for us. Keep your car in. Are you coming out? Are you coming out? Uh, McGee, the officer's name is Mulcahy. 
Katie. Why'd you call him square? Because when you want him, he's never around. Come on, let's go. Oh, my, my. Quite a crowd, isn't it? Yep. I suppose you'll find the two strings in the notion department. Let's ask the floor walker. Can you see him anyway? That's him right over there. How do you know? He's the only guy in the store that's standing still. Where do you keep your shoelaces? Uh, in the top right-hand drawer of my dresser, sir. I use it. Oh, you mean in the store. They know she's counted, sir, four aisles over, and uh, I beg your pardon. Aren't you Mr. Fibber McGee? Well, if he isn't, it's going to be quite a scandal in our neighborhood. Why, bud? Well, I'm so glad you came in, sir. <laughs> the uh, new suits you ordered in 1942, 43, 44, and 45 have arrived. They've, uh... Already been altered and charged to your account. What? At this late date? Uh, we did the best we could, madam. After all, he's time for the new. Oh, what if I did? My gosh, you should have known when peace broke out, I'd want to cancel the order. Call the manager. Uh, yes, sir. Have you seven dollars and sixty-five cents in change? Why? I'll have to call him long distance. He's in Palm Springs at a menswear convention. <laughs> Look at those beautiful California sports shirts. Why don't you get one? Okay, Laura. Yes, yeah, they're so comfortable. Wear the collar up and no tie to the state out. That ain't my trouble. I wear the collar out and the cuffs out, but I never wear out. Now, McGee. Well, look who's here to find an old expression. Good day, Molly. Hello, Dr. Gamble. Hi, Jenny Grassley. If you're looking for the cutlery department, it's in the basement. And for a very character like you, the basement... Oh, McGee, mind your manners. Never mind him, my dear. One can't expect courtesy and refinement from one whom the stalk delivered on the wrong side of the airport. <laughs> whom delivered whom on the wrong side of what airport? Look, you medical misfit. I can trace my ancestors back through Richard the Lionhearted, Ivan the Terrible, and Pierre the Plucky. Your family tree has such a slippery elm you couldn't hardly hang a horse thief on it. What? Why, you little outcast? My great-grandmother was a Cherokee Indian. And I have more American blood in my earlobe than you could get with a transfusion from the Rainbow Division. <laughs> Is that so? Compared to my family, the Indians were immigrants. Why, you're... Ah, boys, 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 stop it. The way you wrangle anybody would think this was a peace conference. <laughs> Doctor, are you shopping for something? Why, yes, my dear. Tomorrow is Miss Tremaine's birthday, and I thought I'd pick up some little gifts. Let me give you a tip, Doc. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're good friends with a girl who does her work at the beauty parlor, and I happen to know Miss Tremaine's favorite perfume is called Destiny at Midnight. Twenty-two bucks an ounce. But, McGee, I don't think... That's all right, my dear. If it were ninety-seven dollars an ounce, it wouldn't make any difference. What? It wouldn't? No, because I've already bought her some handkerchiefs. <laughs> see you later, Molly. Good day, worm face. McGee, are you trying to stir up trouble? Elsie Merkel said Mr. Main hated destiny at midnight person. It was a fairly safe suggestion, kiddo. Gamble thinks no more of 22 bucks than England thinks of the crown jewels. Hey, which way is the notion counter? Let's get those two laces and scram out of here. All right, dear. He said four aisles over. Oh, now, I beg your pardon. Isn't this Mr. and Mrs. Sidney McGee? No, sis. I am Mr. Molotov, and this lady is Catherine of Russia. <laughs> We're shopping for some iron curtains. We are so good, Mrs. McGee. Oh, I have some news for you. Yeah. Beautiful glad, madam. I have one arm is champion. Yes, Miss Wood Arm is champion. Yes, Miss Wood. One news for you. Yes. Beautiful glad, madam. I have one rub. Yes, sir. The five dozen. Isn't that marvelous? Yes, come back, you're up. What on earth? Five dozen rubber gloves. Here, I'm. <laughs> Hey, greetings. Hi. Hello there, Molly. Greetings. Hi. Hello there, Molly. For years, I've... Hey, greetings. Hi. Hello there, Molly. Hi, I see the buyer. Listen. My wife. Egg timer? Yeah, a new egg timer. Egg. Do I get one for you? Uh, gags. You experience with your gags. For you, with your g timer. <laughs> gags, Junior, you take... Never mind my gags, Junior. You take... Never mind my gags, Junior. You take... Never mind my gags. Gently old. <laughs> Care of the whites. I'll... Excuse me, G.I. Too late. That's right. 
What you looking for? The manager this morning. I had a message for you from the manager this morning. I had a message for you from the manager this morning. Uh, he said, Grand, shall they deliver? Pigeons, McGee. An easy feeling idea. Oh, and I wanted to help the owner cancel the order, will you, Junior? Uh, I think it's too close. Let's get out of here, McGee. Hey, it's on the third floor. Drop up to the household group. Demonstration of floor, kids. Marvelous day. Yeah. Somebody floor, kids. Marvelous day. Yeah. Somebody invented a new can opener. <laughs> Johnson, Johnson self polishing glow coat. Johnny, hey, you've heard me glow coat. I believe I'm years now. Off and on. <laughs> well, hang on. Demonstration. Oh, really amazing. Really? Patience for all these years, Mr. Wilcox. You've made it awfully easy. Well, I still... To think how a little glow coat poured out, oh. spread around, and let dry can make it all again. Yeah. And in 20 minutes or less... Yeah, but... To see those faded colors come back to life. To see the touch and rough places disappear. And to know that some housewives would have hours more of leisure. Why, sometimes I just... Sometimes I just... I sometimes I just... I just... I... Oh, Look at his lip quiver, Molly. <laughs> One of these days, his wife is going to sue the wax factory for alienation of affection. <laughs> One of these days, his wife is going to sue the wax factory for alienation. Speaking of the factory, pal, listen. We're all invited to Racine November 5th for their 60th anniversary. Can you go? Can we go? Oh, we can get himself here some new shoelaces in the... If the company sees me barefooted, he might consider... Already expressed himself like that. <laughs> Tell him we'll be there November 5th, Mr. Wilcox. Well, I'll get a bird off first thing in the morning. You'll do what? Send them a bird. I communicate with the factory by carrier pigeon, didn't you know? How interesting. Why, Mr. Wilcox? No stamps. I saved $17 last fiscal year. Well, see you later, Tillin. <laughs> Those shoelaces before the joint closes. Yes, we've been holding old home week here in the island. I beg your pardon. Is this Mr. McGee of 79, Mr. Richter? Yes, sis. What can I do? When you have a free moment, can you step into the special equipment department? I am Miss Beetle Trim, the buyer. Why, certainly, Miss Beetle Trim, but what did you want to Oh, I just wanted to show you your step. 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 It's arrived. We can send it out to you by phone. We can send it out to you by phone. Did I never ordered any such a. No, did I never ordered any such a... No, did I never ordered any such a... When was that, sis? When was that, sis? Put up on your signed order. That's no, five dozen rubber gloves. Three very orders. McGee. Two uh-huh. orders. McGee. Uh-huh. Who's <laughs> Why? I want to send her a nasty telegram. Why? I want to send her a nasty telegram. Why? I want to send her a nasty telegram. Why? I want to send her a nasty telegram. Trying to get to that notion counter for 45 minutes. I gotta get those shoelaces. Oops. That bad there goes my left shoe again. Where is it? Oh, I gotta get those shoelaces. I know, dearie, but I just couldn't resist looking at these darling bridge favorites. Mm. Every time I see these, I wish I played bridge. You do play bridge, remember? You never saw me bring home a sterling silver bud vase, did you? That little group of public enemies I play bridge with is strictly from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Mm. When they get through with my hand, it makes Hiroshima look like Shangri La. Mm. Well, don't play with them, Tussie. And why not, may I ask? Well, a I... finer bunch of girls never look for a price mark on our draperies. <laughs> How can you stand there and accuse my... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm on well, Good day, McGee. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hi, Alice, have you? Hey, I got news for you. Really? Now, McGee, if it's about... Look, Latrice, we just met Doc Gamble in here, and he says it's Fifi Tremaine's birthday tomorrow. The information, I believe, is available to anyone with sufficient curiosity to look into any theatrical reference. Oh, we don't care how old she is, but look. I happen to know that Fifi Tremaine's favorite perfume is Destiny at Midnight. And get this. Gamble only bought her some hankies. Yeah, but, McGee, I told you that Miss Tremaine... How about it, Fifi? You gonna let that 40-cent fracture peddler beat your time? Get her a slug of that stuff, boy. It's only 22 bucks an ounce. I thank you for the suggestion, McGee. You gonna do anything about it? No. Oh. If Dr. Gamble doesn't think he can afford such an expensive gift, I shall not take advantage of the situation. I shall get her some handkerchiefs, too. Oh, good yes. for you, Mr. Mayor. You're a sportsman. Thank you. As I once told Miss Tremaine when she was singing in Oklahoma. Oh, whereabouts in Oklahoma, Lieutenant? I got a cousin in Muskogee. I was referring to the musical play by that name, McGee. Oh, Oh, it was wonderful, too. But where in Oklahoma was it playing when you met her, Mr. Mayor? Oklahoma City? It was in Yonkers. Don't be silly, Lieutenant. Yonkers ain't in Oklahoma. Of course not. Oklahoma was in Yonkers. (laughs) Why, that's ridiculous. Any schoolboy knows that Oklahoma is in Kansas. I didn't say the state of Oklahoma was in Yonkers. I missed the play. When the state of Oklahoma Yonkers was in... I mean, when the play Yonkers was in Oklahoma. Uh, look, 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 look. Let's not get excited. Let's give it a chance. Now then, you met Miss Tremaine where? In Yonkers. Good. Now then, what was she doing? Singing in Oklahoma. Uh. That's a physical impossibility, Latrice. If she was in Yonkers, who could hear her singing clear out in Oklahoma? If she had a voice like that, she'd... He didn't have a voice like that. Yes. I didn't say she sang from Yokohama to Oklahoma. Yes. I mean, she played in the... sang in the theatrical production of Yonkers. In the Yonkers Company of Oklahoma City. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I... I met she the Yonkers in a play of a thing in Oklahoma. Oh, she... I didn't... You... You... I didn't... You... I... <sighs> Yes? Would you care to have a job with the city? Oh, he'd love it, Mr. Mayor, wouldn't you, dearie? That depends. What kind of a job, Latrice? I don't want to have any particular favors, mind you. I want to start at the bottom. You will. You are the new sewer inspector. Good day. to try to stir up trouble between the mayor and Dr. Gamble? Don't you realize they're both gentlemen and nobody can win anything from a gentleman except another gentleman? Oh, I'm just trying to needle them along, baby. That love affair of theirs is too quiet. Needs some fireworks. If love was supposed to be conservative, don't you think Cupid would wear more clothes? My gosh, I don't see what... Oh, I see. Aren't you, Mr. McGee? Oh, no, not again. Oh, that's, 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 what is it, bud? You're just the man we've been trying to contact, Mr. McGee. It's here. Mm-hmm. We've even got it on the truck for delivery. You look ill, dearie. Lean on the counter. I'll, I'll ask the man. What's loaded on the truck for delivery, sir? Why, the combination bomb shelter and septic tank Mr. McGee has had on order. He's had on order for three years. It's simply beautiful, Mr. McGee, really. Yeah, but, 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 but that was way back. <laughs> but, uh, a bomb shelter. Now, wait a minute, bud. The suits I can maybe use. The gloves I can sell. The clay pigeons I can suit. The deep freeze. Yeah? Oh, I'll think of something for that. But a bomb shelter, but if you think for one minute I'm going to... I'm suffer... sorry, sir. We have the signature on an order. Mm-hmm. You'll have to discuss the details with the credit manager. Good day. Well, this has been quite a shopping trip, mm-hmm. Say, uh, how are we fixed for rocket ships and diving ships? Oh. Uh, quick, get on, quick. Don't rub it in. I feel awful enough as it is. Let's get my two strings and go home. All right, all right, Pat. We'll get out of this somehow. Here's the notion, Tommy. Uh, say, miss, uh, my husband wants some shoe strings, please. 28 inches, sis. Brown ones. Two strings, sir? Oh, I'm sorry, but we haven't been able to get metal tips for several years. We had a war on, you know, but if you'd care to sign this waiting list, we'd oh, be glad. Oh, oh, this is Some beautiful miniature rooms the other day, and among them were some old, old kitchens. 
Gosh, they certainly give you something to think about. Can you imagine having to go back to kerosene lamps again or drawing water from an outside well? Or think of the hours of continual scrubbing it took to keep those big old floors looking nice. Now, you're more fortunate on that floor business. With Johnson's Glow Coat, it's the easiest thing in the world to have kitchen floors that are always clean and bright. You know, of course, that Glow Coat is self-polishing. You apply it, then let it dry. That's the whole simple Glow Coat story. There's no rubbing or buffing. In 20 minutes, your linoleum is wax polished and gleaming. Its colors and patterns clear and fresh. Glow Coat also saves you work because it's so easy to keep a glow coated floor beautiful and clean. Wipe the shining surface with a damp cloth and still things and dirt simply vanish. Why don't you find out what beautiful linoleum and other floors you can have in a jiffy with Johnson's self-polishing glow coat? Son, dump truck, Mr. McGee. Just arrived yesterday. It's taken us four years, but we got it. A dump truck? Just what I need. Back it up over at the bond con, bud. I got enough stuff over there to... Huh? Oh. Good night. Good night, all. Speaking for the makers of Johnson's Wax Products for Home and Industry and thanking the menswear, Palm Springs Fashion Roundup for its hospitality. We invite you all to be with us again next Tuesday night. Good night. <laughs>